Assalamualaikum everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. In this video, I am going to talk about an OGLV syndrome, which is also known as the acute colonic pseudo obstruction. So, from the another name of OGLV syndrome, you can, you can see here it is the acute and it is the colonic pseudo obstruction. Pseudo obstruction means that there is no actual mechanical obstruction, there is actually functional obstruction of the colon. So, now how to define the OGLV syndrome? OGLV syndrome is the signs and symptoms and radiologic findings of large bowel obstruction but actually there is no mechanical obstruction so this is the definition in which there are signs and symptoms of obstruction but actually there is no mechanical obstruction so now what are the causes of ogilvy syndrome here you can see the recent trauma or surgery is the one cause of the ogilvy syndrome other is sepsis or infection and the other is malignancy. So these are the another causes of the OGLV syndrome. And the last cause is the medication. Some medication like anticholinergic and narcotics can cause the OGLV syndrome. The signs and symptoms of OGLV syndrome. So it is the obstruction. There will be signs and symptoms of obstruction. For example, there will be abdominal pain and there will be abdominal distension. It is the most common sign of OGLV syndrome. The other is there will be nausea and vomiting because the contents are not passing through the bowel therefore they will be impacted there so they then this content can be reflex and can cause the nausea and vomiting under plain abdominal x-ray you will find the enlargement of bowel so now, diagnose the Ogilvy syndrome. The Ogilvy syndrome is a diagnosis of ex exclusion. You will have to exclude the causes of mechanical obstruction. If the mechanical obstruction is excluded, then this will be Ogilvy syndrome. So now how to treat the Ogilvy syndrome? The Ogilvy syndrome can be treated first by, by stopping the causative agent of the Ogilvy syndrome. For example, if the causative agent is the trauma, then treat the trauma and if the causative agent is sepsis then treat the sepsis or infection and if the causative agent is the malignancy then treat the malignancy and if the causative agent is medication then stop taking the medication. The other measure for the treatment of the Ogilvy syndrome is keep the patient in PO. Should not give anything by mouth to the patient. Uh, give the patient IV fluids and electrolytes. So the uh, other option for the treating the Ogilvy syndrome is the decompression. The decompression can be done by the enema or it can be done by the nasogastric suction. So the enema is actually the water containing solution which is injected into the colon and the colon is rinsed with this solution. The other is NG suction which is a tube which is inserted into the uh, stomach and the contents of the stomach are then uh, aspirated. If these options are failed then do the colonoscopy. So in the last option for the decompression of the uh, colon is the cecostomy or colostomy in which a tube is inserted into the cecum or the colon in this uh, through this tube the uh, colon is then decompressed. This was all about an syndrome. For more videos subscribe, like and share. So thanks for watching the video.